Michael Essa. I'm the driver of the GSR Autosport Nitto Tire BMW 350R. Let me show you around the car. The car is a E92. Uh, we've got an M5 V10 motor in it. A sequential six-speed transmission, KW Motorsport suspension, a lot of custom control arms. Uh, over here, I'll show you inside the car. The only thing that's left stock inside the car is the dashboard skin. Other than that, everything's been completely gutted out. We've got a roll cage in here. We've got uh, the steering column and the seat have all been moved back to get the weight further back in the back of the car. We've got a hydraulic Wilwood e-brake. That's the sequential shifter. Those are all the switches to control the ignition and fuel pumps and fans. And then we have a single gauge display here. So all the data from the engine, everything that's going on is right there in the center. So you don't have to look around at a bunch of gauges to figure out what's going on. If there's anything that's wrong, it'll tell you. In the back of the car, we've got uh, dual calipers. So one is for the regular foot brake and one is for the hydraulic handbrake. So we separated those so we can use the foot brake and the handbrake at the same time without having any feedback between the two. In what used to be the trunk, everything is gone. We've cut out some of the sheet metal around here so if we do tap any walls or anything, the sheet metal will crush easily and uh, hopefully the car will keep going on its path and not straighten out. We've got a different uh, quick change differential in the back. It's a lot stronger than the stock unit. And also you can pull this cover off and change the gears out for different tracks. So it'll change the top speed of the car. We've got the oil cooler, power steering pump. We've got three real basic ways to get the car sliding sideways. One way is just speed and the weight of the car going into the corner. So you accelerate into the corner, you turn the opposite direction and then you flick the car into the corner. Another way is to go into the corner, turn in slightly, and push the clutch in, rev the engine up almost like you're doing a burnout, and you pop it, it's called a clutch kick, and that shocks the wheels, gets the wheel speed up, and gets the car going sideways. The other technique for going into a slower corner is e-brake. So you come into the corner, clutch in, and pull the e-brake up. And really how much you use the e-brake depends on the corner and how quickly you flick the car sideways. <laughs> 